We are going to add internationalization to our application. So the application will be supporting multiple languages. And for this one, we are going to use a library. And that library is this one, the view i18n plugin. So we are going to install this dependency and here we are installing the version compatible with view 3.0. So the installation is like this. We are going to run npm install view i18 next. Just copying this one and stopping the test console and installing this package. Now let's also stop the application and run it again because now we have a new dependency and let's run the test and let's refresh the browser now let's start with uh, using this library uh, we are going to add tests for this one but first let's start using this library so we will be practicing how to use that one and we will do our implementation in main.js so here in the main.js we are going to import a function from this view i18n and this function is create i18n and we are going to call this function with an options object and in this options object we set the locale of our application and for now the locale is en and we will have messages so this is going to be containing the translations for the supported languages and in this messages object we will have a field for the language which is yan english and this will have another object assigned to this one and here we will be having key and values we are going to use the keys in our components and the values will be the actual visible text on the page and for ian the text will be english and for other languages the text will be the, the translations for th that language so let's start with this header first so we will have a key of let's say this is going to be sign up and the text of that sign up will be this one uppercase s sign and space uppercase u p so this is creating an instance of this i18 and let's assign this one to this variable and this is a plugin and we can configure view to use plugins with this uh, part this create app is returning the app and that application has use function and we can tell which plugin to use so we can use this i18n so saving this one now in sign up page we are going to use the translation functionality and this plugin is adding a function to this application and we can access to that function in our component and that function is like this so instead of having this static text we will have an expression here so in double curly braces now we are going to use the function with this dollar sign t again this is a function and this is added to our application with this plugin this i18m plugin and we are able to access to that function in each of the components and this t is a function and we can call this one with the translation key so this key is sign up so saving this one on browser we don't see any changes but this is going to be breaking our tests we will fix that later 
Now let's add another language so we can have another language and that language will be here in this messages object. I'm going to add my language TR Turkish and of course you can add your own language and in this object we will have the same key sign up and we will have corresponding translations for this language and this is the Turkish version for the sign up and I'm just changing the locale to TR so the application will be displaying the the texts of the TR version saving this one and here we can see on browser this header is shown in this text because we are using this locale and in this locale this key is having this value so this dollar sign t sign up is returning this value now let's add all the text so we have this username and this is username we have email and we have password and we have password repeat and we have this username email password password repeat and we have this sign up text also in the button so we will be having same keys for the Turkish version and this is for Turkish username and this is Turkish email this is password and password repeat now in this sign up view we are going to use the translations so the label is going to be we are going to use an expression so instead of having this label assignment with static value we will use v bind or shorter like this and we will be calling this t with the key username and we will do same thing for this email input and password and replacing the password repeat and finally we will have this sign up translation for the button right here so saving this one and also saving this main.js now on browser we can see all the fields are shown in this Turkish translation and if we switch to the other language the EN the page is going to be showing all texts in that language now let's fix our tests the tests are failing because we are configuring our application to use this i18n and in sign up page we are using this function dollar sign t and if we check the the logs here it is saying this dollar sign t is not a function in our test output so it doesn't know anything about this dollar sign t so what we are going to do is we are going to extract this configuration from this main js so let's do it like this let's create a folder under source and let's call this one as locales and in this folder let's have a module let's say this is i18 and js and in that one we are going to create this i18 and configuration and let's export this i18 and instance from this module now we are going to import this i18 and from so saving these changes this is not going to fix the test but let's make sure it is working on browser so it is properly working it is displaying the the texts in english now we are going to use this i18 and instance in our tests so in sign up 
page spec. Let's import i18n from. Now we are under the pages folder, so we are going one directory up. Under locales, we have this i18n. And in this test module, let's only run this first test has a sign up header. Now we are going to change the render function. Previously in input spec, we have seen how we can render this input with props. Now in this one, again, we are going to set the render options. But this time we are going to set global and in global there is this plugins and plugins is basically an array and in this array we are going to have the plugin this one this i18n the plugin we are using in our application so we imported the i18n and we are using the i18n in this plugins array so this is going to be rendering sign up page and it's also going to be using this i18n plugin and with that way the sign up page will be able to resolve this dollar sign t function and we are expecting this test to be passing so saving this one so the test is passing here we can see it has sign up header is working now we need to repeat this part for all the tests we have here so let's do like this let's have a setup function right here and let's move this render into this setup and let's call this setup here and we are going to do the same thing for the next one the next one by the way let's remove the focus so all tests in this module will run so replacing this render sign up page with setup so using control d to select multiple lines and replacing with setup and here in interactions we also have this setup and let's update this one we are going to render sign up page but also we are going to pass the render options which will have global and in global we are going to have plugins array and in this array we will have i18n and since we already have this setup and this setup is used in the tests we don't need to do anything else for these tests so saving this one and here we can see all tests are passing now we have this configuration right here we don't have to do this one but i prefer to extract this part as json files so i do this here in the locales i'm going to add a new file and this is for the english translations en json and just cutting this one and pasting here so it is in json file now and now we can import this json let's call this one en from current directory en json and we can directly assign this one to here and let's repeat the same thing for tr so adding a new json tr json and pasting the translations and importing the tr json and setting the tr json to the messages object right here and since the key and value are having the same text we can go with object shorthand assignment like this so this is going to be adding this en key and this values coming from this en json to it so saving these changes 
And here we can see nothing is broken here. And the tests are also passing.